Hey everybody, this week I want to talk about invasive species. So in Hawaii, there are three major invasive fish species that we have. It's going to be the ta'ape or blue line snapper, to'au or black tail snapper, and the last one is the roy or peacock grouper. And I believe that all three of these fish are causing some sort of major damage to the environment in Hawaii. So all three of these species were bought here and introduced. And when they first got here, a lot of them were looked at as just, you know, food fish. And I believe that's why both the Ta'ape and To'au were bought here. People were looking to, you know, use it to become a fish that people harvest and commercially catch for food. But unfortunately, when they brought it here, they didn't expect those fish to take over and be as dominant as they were. So when the Ta'ape and To'au and the Roy, when they came here, originally there weren't a whole bunch in numbers, but as more and more of them started to reproduce and the quantity and the population continued to rise, that's when we had major problems. So the Ta'ape, To'au and Roy, what they do is they'll eat anything and everything that they can. And originally when they got here, since they're not from here, they had no real predators. And because there were no real predators, they just kind of went unchecked for a while. And that's why their population got to where it got. And currently, if you think about it, I personally haven't been seeing a whole bunch of Ta'ape and To'au, the bigger ones, or even the Roy, close to shore. So that concerns me for multiple reasons. The first being, if they're not near shore, then where have they gone? I truly believe it's not that their population has drastically declined or anything. I believe that they just moved further out into the deeper open ocean. And the reason that it's concerning to me especially is because if you know where all of our, you know, small reef fish start off their life, it's out there in the open ocean. They actually start off in the currents out there as really, really microscopic, um, basically macro plankton. But anyway, they're out there in the ocean, the open ocean. And if that's where these invasive fish are, that's a problem because they're going to be eating a lot of more of those baby fish that we need to grow up and come back inshore to repopulate our reefs, whether that's like a manini or, you know, any of our other smaller reef fish. It's going to be devastating if these invasive species are consuming all of the babies. So I know in the past I've said, hey, you know, only take what you're going to eat and be really cautious about taking too much. Well, when it comes to invasive species, the Ta'ape, To'au, and Roy, I personally believe that the more you can get out, the better. I really appreciate when they had that campaign a few years ago to eat the invasives. That was absolutely wonderful. As many of these Ta'ape, To'au, and Roy as we can remove, the better. I think if we can get out, you know, everybody try and get out 100 every year, Hey, that's great, you know, and in the market, there's still value for it. I think the last time I went to a store, I saw the Ta'ape and To'au going for like 10 or $12 a pound. So even if you catch a bunch, you have a possibility to sell it. I know those fish are actually really good to eat as well. Um, the Roy has been known to have cigatera, so maybe don't eat a whole bunch of it. Um, cigatera is something that can absolutely knock you down and out. My dad had Sigatera and watching him go through that was crazy. Like Because it's a neurotoxin and it messes with your brain, it was so weird. Like Cold things are hot, hot things are cold. He's on his bed with his blanket shivering. And I'm like, wait, if you're shivering, that means it's hot. Don't you want to take the blanket off? But it was absolute madness for about like a whole week. I think he lost like 20 pounds in that week. So Sigatera is definitely something that you don't want to get. 
but the overall idea of removing the invasive species that stands if you can catch a thousand topin a thousand toao and a thousand roy taking them out of the ecosystem out of the environment is doing everything a favor that's one of the few fish where i don't care if it's like 2 inches if i catch one i'm i'm not going to let it go at least alive sometimes i've taken the taafe and wait until it dies and just throw it by the sand crab and let the sand crab come and eat it but whatever it takes just not to let it go back in other places of the world a lot of people are working towards similar goals in florida the lionfish is invasive and people are going out there and spearing them people are you know turning it into meals and i really think that's the best way to approach this because i think it's kind of wasteful if you catch you know dozens of them and you just wait for them to die and throw it back in the ocean like i said the taafe and toao they taste really good and i've personally eaten it as like sashimi raw as well as fried or even i believe i steamed a big toao once and it came out great so don't be afraid to you know catch it and eat it but just remember if you catch it don't throw it back i don't care what you do just don't throw it back into the ocean alive it's not going to do anything in the ocean a favor and just remember they're invasive they don't belong here so because they don't belong in our ecosystem that's why we're removing them it has nothing to do with they you know belong here and we want to keep more of them we want to do the exact opposite as many as we can get out we want to get out and i believe that whether it's 2 inches or you know 5 pounds same concept get it out of there this is one of the fish that because you know the bigger ones carry more eggs definitely keep them out you know take the bigger ones too but anything and everything you can catch that's invasive please don't throw it back sometimes it's better to take the roy and you know just use it as fertilizer or take the roy and wait for it to die and just maybe throw it back in the ocean and give something else a meal just don't don't throw it back alive i i really can I preach that enough because the invasive species are not helping us at all. Granted, we as fishermen can do better on our behalf, on our part to make a difference in terms of releasing fish and only keeping what we need, things like that, but definitely removing these invasive species is going to make a difference. If you guys have any questions about invasive species or anything else, please feel free to leave it in the comments if you agree and think this is really important feel free to share it with other people to bring awareness to catching and removing invasive species have a great week everybody